How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Fry with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news. I was watching this game, uh, Oklahoma versus Boston Celtics. And family, did y'all know when I was watching the, damn near the whole game, I think I fell asleep on the last few parts of the seconds, and I thought Oklahoma won. But now, um, it says that Marcus Morris hit a late three-pointer hands on a thunder devastating loss. And family, did you know that, okay, Gordon Hayward, he been out for the damn near the whole season since the beginning of the uh, the first game when they played against uh, the Castle when he injured his leg and shit. Okay, it was no Kyrie Irving, it was no Jalen Brown. All right, that's damn near three of your, your main, oh, and uh, Marcus Smart. That's four of your main guys. And, and uh, OKC had... All they pieces, except uh, except Robeson, and which is he just only an offensive liability. He played mostly defense. <coughs> he don't really get you points like that. He'd probably get you like four or five points a game or something like that. But fam, let me show y'all this 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 video right quick. For 100 years, heritage and innovation have made Gillette the number one shave in America. Now get Gillette quality at lower prices every day. Brought to you by more than a thousand workers in Boston. We're proud of giving you our best. Gillette, the best a man can get. Tatum able to get all the way. A little two-possession game here with just under 17 to go. Oh! oh. They're going to have to foul again. This is both free throws Ooh. here. And Brad Stevens, one of the best in the business at drawing up plays out of timeout. And this is a tough one to swallow for the Thunder. Now, family, I know y'all just seen that. Did you know they lost? They lost to mostly backups, bench players, and a few starters. The only two starter was uh, was really um, Jason Tatum. Marcus Morris, no, and uh, what's the name? Three, and uh, and uh, Al Horford. They only had three starters, and they don't really get you more than damn near twenty points a game. But Jason Tatum came up big today. He had twenty three points. But well, family, do y'all know what that means for Paul George? I don't see Paul George stand. I don't see Paul George stand after this. Uh, after the season. Like seriously. Because they can get bounced out the first round. How you. Just think about it. You got three all-stars. Three all-stars. You feel what I'm saying? You know which is mellow. He still can you know what I'm saying. Get you at least 18 to 20 a game. But when his three pointers ain't hitting. That shit ain't looking right. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, and you got Paul George. He can get you about 23 to 26, 27 a game. You feel what I'm saying? When his three is hitting, you know what I'm saying? He can go get you 35. Some you know, On some great nights, he can go get you 40. But I just, I, I just don't see him staying. That's my guy, you feel what I'm saying? But I just don't see him stand. Then you got Russ, you know. He's not a great three-point shooter at all. I don't know why he keep jacking him so many damn threes. But sometimes he have to jack up so many threes just for him to win. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes uh, Melo, 
and Paul George shit don't be on. So it's like he got to do everything in his power, you know, just for them to win. But I just don't see Paul George staying past the season. You feel what I'm saying? Like my brother Ticket TV said, they should have traded Paul George. They should have traded Paul George for um, Blake Griffin because Blake Griffin, he under a uh, five-year contract and stuff like that, and he's getting, what, 185 mil or something like that? 185 mil or 200, one of them, or whatever he's getting. But, yeah, he had him locked up. They would have at least had him locked up for five years, you feel what I'm saying? Said it would have been straight. But now... They just took a chance of risking losing Paul George after this season. Because when you lose, when you lose to a Boston Celtics team that damn near hurt, that wasn't even really supposed to win this game, that says a lot about the fucking team. The coach can only coach so much. You feel what I'm saying? Their chemistry is not on tack at all. At all. Against losing teams, they get they get their ass handed to them. Against teams that's over like 500. Good teams that's like over 500, they're like what? 9 and 13. But they just, man. When they played good defense, they just, they shit, their damn shot just wasn't hitting, man. Their shot wasn't hitting at all. And I'm looking, I'm like, damn. Carmelo Anthony took, I don't know how many threes he didn't jacked up. Russell jacked up so many fucking threes last night. I'm like, damn, what the fuck are you doing? I have seen so many fucking layups missed in the damn game. I'm like, what are you? What are you guys are doing? But I just don't see Paul George stand past the season. Like I said, <clears throat> they can get bounced out at the, in the first round. Okay, right now they're in the fourth. <coughs> they're in the fourth season. I mean, the fourth seeding. Whoever's going to be in the eighth spot, because I know uh, San Antonio in the seventh spot, and uh, whoever in this eighth spot, uh, whoever that you know end up in the A spot and shit like that at the end, a damn they bounce their ass up out of there. So, let me read this uh, article for y'all family. It says uh, this was published by ESPN staff writer Royce Young. It says Carmelo Anthony sat on uh, what sat at his locker. Jersey off and both knees wrapped in ice, staring straight ahead at nothing in particular. Yeah, because he knew they wasn't supposed to lose that fucking game. He answered a phone call talking for about a minute before setting his phone down to do something more staring. Yeah, staring. It was almost fitting. The layout of the visitors' locker room and TD Garden, with Anthony Starr separated from the rest, leaving him to sit alone with no one on his left or right. Yeah, this shit is. It's like, damn. How did we fucking lose? It says, Anthony. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go back up. See, it was somber 
and shot room with Anthony left processing the final 20 seconds of the game and his two missed free throws with 8.4 seconds to go that will have sealed a seven straight win for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Instead, Celtics forward Marcus Morris hit a three-pointer with 1.2 seconds left. Russell Westbrook missed an Missed on a potential winning at the buzzer, and Boston stole it, 100 to 99. Anthony finally cracked a grin, a grin, when new guy Corey Brewer walked by a whiteboard with two departure times for the team buses to the airport on it. Yep, out and pleasant surprise. There's two buses. With 20 seconds left Tuesday night, Anthony was on track for the proverbial game ball after hitting back to back stone cold threes, then creating a third on an assist to Brew with 1 minute and 53 seconds left to put the Thunder up six. Anthony has been asked to give up more than anyone else this season. Letting go of his jab, his jab stepping isos in favor of becoming a Roman catch and shoot specialist. It was something he had to accept a word he uses often. But a necessity for the Thunder to begin to unlock their offense offense potential. And on Tuesday there was a payoff. The Thunder had been rolling along, coming off maybe their top trump triumph of the season, a victory in Toronto on Sunday to snap the Raptors 11 game winning streak. In Boston, it was a game of attrition against the Scrappy. Kyrie Irving lists Celtics with the team with three stars on it, eventually taking over at the team at the time it mattered. Paul George hit a three with four minutes and four seconds to go to put the Thunder up by two points. Anthony had a sequence and Westbrook hit some free throws with 24 seconds left. It looked like the kind of game the Thunder had worked hard to get past and a parent in a bag when they didn't really show up for. They hit, they said they hit the on switch, made some shots, were ready to exit stage left. And it says, we had the game one, Anthony said, up two. On the road, seven seconds left, having a chance to be sealed, so the game was won. I try not to say what happened or what should I have done there, he said of his subsequent missed free throws. Yeah, I mean, you can't be missing no damn free throws, Anthony. <coughs> Excuse me, fam. Well, LeBron James be missing free throws, too, and I don't be liking that shit either. They got to work on that. And say at this point, it's a little too late for that. After the first one that was short, try to adjust it and shoot it a little harder. A little too hard. And second time, so it happened. I live with it. You make some, you miss some. Yeah, man, but y'all wasn't supposed to lose that damn game, bro. They were starless. The focus was on Anthony. But a series of pretty straightforward events led to the collapse. Celtics forward Jason Tatum finished a mostly uncontested layup. Then Westbrook split free throws with 16.8 seconds to go to make it a five-point game. Celtics guard Terry Rozier hit a very open but also very deep three. Yeah, that motherfucker known for hitting them damn deep threes. He been playing great all this season, and like the beginning and then like the middle of last season. Then Anthony inexplicably missed twice at the line. It set up what at the point felt like the inevitable. Hell yeah! But when you at the end of the damn game, you trying to win, and you miss two free throws. Two game-changing free throws. 
to knock that shit and just end the damn game. It's like, fuck. It said, really, it was just a matter of who was going to hit the game winning three for the Celtics. Al Heffer seemed like the most likely candidate, but after a scramble, the ball settled in Morris' hands on the right wing. A quick pump fake to clear one defender. Then a launch over the outstretched hand of Steven Adams, and it was all net. Yeah. <clears throat> but like I said, y'all, I just don't see Paul George signing. Resigning. I, I just don't see him signing no contract. I don't see him signing no contract with the OKC. Resigning with them uh, after this season. I see him going straight home to the Lakers. Because you was not, they wasn't supposed to lose this game, bro. I don't give a damn what anybody said. They was not supposed to lose this fucking game. They had enough firepower to win this fucking game. But, family, y'all let me know what y'all think. And uh, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, y'all have a good morning. And I'm out.